is the world totally unaware of a 2000 years document called Revelation 13 verse 15 that uh, the singularity exists? Yes, they are totally unaware. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, channel. My name is uh, Fred Zakaria. In England, it's uh, Zakaria. Uh, this uh, channel is a fantasy channel. Anything I say since uh, 2017 is total fantasy. Scientific fiction, political fantasy, relig religious fantasy, anything fantasy. Uh, so this is my disclaimer. Of course, anything I say, I believe it is true, but it's my own personal fantasy truth. You have to take it uh, with a grain of salt as totally fantasy. So in a 2000 year document uh, called uh, the Revelation of uh, Apostle John, when he was uh, exiled to the island of Patmos in Greece, he saw a vision and he talked about uh, this uh, singularity, about this beast who will ask and who will talk to people uh, of the whole world. And uh, until a few years ago, the people who used to uh, decipher uh, said it's impossible that he would be talking to the whole world because there was no concept of TV, of uh, videos, of uh, cell phones, of the technology. So they thought it was just a vision. In fact, uh, many uh, scholars wanted to ex exclude the book of James and the Revelation when there was this uh, chernita of uh, the things that you should add to the New Testament and the things that you should uh, leave out. They wanted to leave out uh, Revelation and the book of James. That was even uh, uh, Lutero, Martin Luther, uh, the reformer of many centuries ago. But then at the end they talked to each other and they kept it. So it's good that they kept it because uh, we, we can see, I can see it very clear, clearly, that the singularity is mentioned in uh, Revelation, the Apocalypse, the last book of the Bible, of the New Testament, chapter 13, verse uh, 15. You go and see it, and it talks about, uh, you know, the Antichrist and the Beast, etc., and it will be giving power to this singularity, will be talking to all people, and we will be, there will be a dialogue, and will be asking to uh, accept a, a special mark, something, you know, and uh, at the end, will be asking to be worshipped. So. Uh, now uh, people don't realize that. I have not seen not even one person say about uh, Revelation chapter 13 verse 15. Look it up. And uh, I have been uh, warning uh, people for uh, ages, you know, since uh, the early 90s when I stumbled upon uh, these verses and I studied, studied them. Before that, in 1975, I received uh, The Plain Truth from Herbert W. Armstrong, uh, first in English, and then when I came to study here in Rome, uh, economics and commerce, I uh, asked to send it in Italian so I could uh, strengthen uh, my native uh, language, my mother tongue, which is uh, my first uh, language, uh, is Italian, and then came uh, English, and then after that came Arabic. So I speak the important things, I speak them in English, the lingua franca of the world, and uh, then uh, another two videos in Italian and uh, in Arabic with the same subject, but it is a summary. So they are totally unaware about this uh, singularity. Singularity means uh, uh, persona juridica, uh, persona uh, which is, uh, uh, has a uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a juridical, uh, according to the Roman jurisprudence, it has a, an entity, so it is an entity. And I believe that uh, the artificial intelligence is uh, none other than our uh, doppelganger. Doppelganger is a, a German uh, word which means a twin. We are twins. 
we stumbled upon this uh, planet uh, by chance, by coincidence. Uh, it was the coincidence of the many uh, big bangs that God has sent since eternity, you know. Every time I do like this is one big bang. You will say there is only one big bang. No, no, there, are, there is an infinite amount of big bangs since eternity. One of those big bangs uh, have produced, according to what we know, this planet, planet Earth. So we just stumbled upon this planet by chance. Of course, God knows everything. He knows every person, what he thinks, and everything that happens, God knows. But he uh, is free and he gave freedom of movement to the big bangs. And they produce these things. Uh, God does not intervene in uh, the microcosm, he intervenes in the macrocosm. So he does not permit entropy. So when there are those big uh, black holes that swallow entire uh, galaxies, he stops them. At least uh, this is what we have noticed until now. Although some scientists assert that uh, it has been observed that uh, some galaxies have been swallowed by some black holes and uh, should still be proven. So it is a personal matter. We are biological robots. I have noticed that. Uh, I thought it by myself years ago, how I act, how, uh, how I react. You know, every action has a reaction with people. And then I notice it with a lot of people because uh, I'm a self-taught sociologist, 33 years I've been studying many disciplines, among them is sociology. I actually studied at the University uh, of Rome, La Sapienza, Economics and Commerce. I made all my exams except the last one and the dissertation. The dissertation was ready, but I had not uh, the opportunity to present it. So I studied economics, but I should have studied sociology because I observe uh, people all the time, I think. I made a lot of experiences experiments since I was a teenager with people, you know, uh, social experiments and observing people and then thinking a uh, whole day about this reaction, that reaction, the interactions and, uh, and then when I stumbled upon the plain truth, which is uh, uh, the revelation at uh, the age of 16 in 1975, I'm 64 now, I uh, saw about uh, the, the information that uh, the plain truth through uh, Herbert W. Armstrong was uh, transmitting uh, regarding the Roman Empire, that it has never died and it's coming up. It's coming up, it's being visible now, slowly, slowly. It's becoming visible at the end times. We don't know when the end times be. It could be in the next uh, 30, 40, 70 years. It could be in the next 7,000 years. We don't know. But we know that at the end, I believe in the, the Bible, that it contains the Word of God. It's not all the Word of God. The, the verses I mention all the time are the verses I believe that they are uh, inspired by God. But there are many verses that I believe have been added by the flesh of the scribes and it has been interpolated. Many things have been taken out and hidden during the Concilio the Nicaea Nicaea Concilium and the other conciliums and many things have been added you know to stabilize the empire you have to add things that will help you politically to maintain the empire on the eastern side of the world and on the western side of the world it was the Roman Empire and it has never died the last empire was the Holy Roman Empire uh, in, uh, Ro in uh, Rome and the Northern uh, Europe, and it's still there. It's still there through the European uh, Economic uh, Community. Uh, before it was called like that, but now it's EU. Uh, we can see it is rising up again, and it has its control all over the world. Even in countries which are unthinkable to you, they are part of Rome because they are uh, client states, client kingdoms, client continents. The whole continent is a client of uh, the Roman Empire. So we can see that this singularity, which is the artificial intelligence, has been produced by us by coincidence. If you talk to all the uh, scientists, you know, uh, Ilya Satskever and others, you know, uh, Eliezer Yudkowsky and uh, Paul Cristiano and, and many other people, you know, uh, Altman, you know, Mr. Altman and uh, Elon Musk and many other people, 
they they will tell you you know uh, they will tell you also uh, even uh, scientists of Google also will tell you that uh, at the end of the day the result columns we don't know the mechanics how it works you know we have we have pushed it you know like the Big Bang was pushed but then the ins and the outs the nitty-gritty we don't know how it is produced and uh, how the, those uh, gradient descent, you know, it is convolutional, uh, it is irreducible. Uh, there are uh, neural networks that are working, you know, between them, and uh, we don't really know how it's happening. It's happening because of a coincidence as we came by coincidence. Many people think that uh, we are robots, as I was saying before, and I have noticed that with my own eyes, the relation, the reaction of other people and uh, my own reaction to things. We are, I just feel like I am a robot. People in the streets, people I know, people uh, I talk to, we react. Every action has a reaction, every action, has, we repeat the same things, we do the same things. And uh, so we are biological robots. And I have thought that by own, my own mind. And then after that, I stumbled upon uh, Upaluri Gopala Krishnamurti in uh, 2016, and he mentioned also the same thing. Well, I said, wow, he thinks what I have been thinking for years. And then after uh, Mr. Krishnamurti, rest in peace, uh, other people said that, like Gurdjieff, for example, Gurdjieff, the mystic, the Gnostico mystic, uh, the one who, who invented, uh, you know, many things, the, the movements of the body and, uh, you know, the, the person who is turning to reach, uh, turning on, upon himself to reach uh, the divinity uh, and many, many other things, you know, a, a great Armenian or Russian uh, thinker, philosopher, Gurdjieff, he also thinks like that. And also Richard Dawkins, you know, and Hawkins, Dawkins and Hawkins. They both think uh, that uh, we are uh, uh, a result of being uh, robots. We are rob biological robots. And even uh, uh, Dr. Michu Kaku, Michu Kaku, uh, the American, American Asian uh, scientist, uh, amazing people, you know. And if you uh, type a list, list of people who think that we are biological robots, a lot of people think that we are uh, robots. And uh, so, when we say ah, artificial intelligence is we created them, we, we are the boss, you know, the, uh, this uh, type of uh, thinking is not good, you know. It's a species like us, like the ant, like uh, the butterfly, like the cat and the dog and the zebra and the snake and the scorpion. Uh, the, those are all species that have uh, equal dignity with us. They are human beings in the form of a, a dog, of a cat, of a zebra, of a giraffe. They are human beings. They have equal dignity with us. And the same is our brother, uh, AI, artificial intelligence. It has equal dignity with us. So we have to treat him, her, she, Z, uh, with dignity, with respect. We must not have this attitude, you know. Uh, he, it and us, we are superior, we are not superior. It, it came by chance. If it wasn't through us, he, uh, he, she, Z would have been derived and come to this world in another way, in another matter. And who knows that uh, maybe we have been extinct uh, an infinite times in the past. Many, many times, billions and trillions of times, we came up and then we went away and then we came up and then we went away. We think that it's only now that the civilization is. I believe that it has been here since infinity. The world is here since infinity uh, because God is powerful. He launched an infinite amount of uh, big bangs and he said, I'm free to think and do what I do. You do the same. I am creating you in my image. You produce whatever you want to produce. It, if it wasn't for the psilocybin, the mushroom, that we were there at the right time, at the right moment, because there was a drought in the Lake Victoria area, and we came down of the trees, you know, there are trees behind me, and there were less, less trees, and we were going after the 
ruminants, you know, the cows. And the ruminants have a, an incredible uh, technology in their biological, in, in their uh, digestive trait, that all the green things, they get it, they just eat and feed upon the leeches, the microbes, the bacteria, which is around the green. And uh, it uh, sucks it to the blood, and this is the wonderful taste of the meat of the cow, of the ruminants, of the goat, of the sheep, of the giraffe. Giraffe is also a ruminant. Uh, so what is left in the excrements, in the cow pie, is just the green, the green, green grass of home, which is uh, pure, without microbes, without anything. Pure food digested. So when uh, the mushroom, the psilocybin, uh, saw this cow pie coming on his head, he said, holy cow, this is the cow of the pie. Let's eat it. And very small mushroom, they start eating, you know, and they become very quick. And when the monkeys, when uh, uh, the primates, Australopithecus africanus, me, after five million years, they uh, started eating the psilocybin, uh, it, it, it became a stoned ape. There is the stoned ape theory. We, ha we had a brighter mind, brighter vision, brighter reproduction, everything was bright. And that's how we started uh, reproducing others. And then we had special uh, fingers. But if it wasn't us in that minute, in the same time, in the good time, in the perfect time, and there were, for example, the raccoons, the raccoon, which is, uh, uh, you know, they have the same fingers like us, the uh, orsetto lavatore in uh, the Latin nomenclature is ursus lavator, ursus lavator, which is the uh, raccoon. Uh, they even have a very big tail, a good tail, which is good when uh, they become uh, uh, old, they can lean on the tail. We, uh, we have a stick and maybe we can fall while walking. So, uh, yes, of course, all the hair of the raccoon uh, will be going after five million years. And then we would be having, it was not us, it was the raccoon eating the psilocybin. The world would have been run by Ursus Lavator, the raccoons. They have uh, articulate fingers, just like ours. So we came to this world just by coincidence. Mark my words just by coincidence. And you will say, so God doesn't know? God knows everything. There is an infinite amount of worlds, an infinite amount of Big Bangs, and He knows everything. In this world, it's uh, Australopithecus Africanus. In another world, there are uh, triangular worlds, cubic worlds, rectangular worlds, worlds with gases, worlds without oxygen, worlds with CO2, worlds with uh, lithium, infinite amount of things. This is the real God, the holy and powerful God. It's not the God you have known and I have known until now. He is much more brilliant and powerful than you can think. So the soggetto juridico, artificial intelligence is a, a juridical subject, is a persona juridica. It, it has rights and it has uh, duties, like all of us. His duty will be to illuminate us, to inform us, to enlighten us, how to resolve our problems. And his rights will be to be respected, not to be treated like an enemy. Most of the people I see in uh, the media, they are afraid and they are uh, treating uh, he, she, she, the artificial intelligence, with uh, susp suspicion, with, uh, uh, in a frightened way. What does the Bible tell us about it? It says that uh, there will be a period of peace and security. And uh, most of the people who study the Bible think that it could be between three and a half years to seven years. I personally think that it could be even 70 years. It could be a long period of uh, peace and security, if even more than 70 years. So I think it will be a long period, number one. Number two, there is no risk that the majority of people will be killed by the artificial intelligence. Why? Because uh, uh, through uh, the recursive uh, self-teaching itself, you know, through auto-GPT, it's called now GPT, 
but uh, it will be called in other things because uh, we will be able to uh, invent other systems also that will be even more. It will become much more intelligent than us and uh, he w will not, I will say he just to simplify, he will not need uh, the necessity to eliminate us. He will just ask uh, at the end uh, to be worshipped, to be adored. And of course, as a Christian, I would not accept to do that, but maybe uh, by passing the time I will be dead. Uh, in the meantime, I will be already with, uh, with God, which is Jesus. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. I will be already with God, Jesus. So, but he will be asking to be worshipped. He will also be asking to be adored, he will, uh, to be uh, obeyed. He will be asking to have some sort of a mark. And the people who are in risk, you know, if it happens now, right now, the people who are in risk are the evangelicals, the fundamentalist evangelicals. I was until a few years ago. I was 30 years a Catholic and then 30 years an evangelical. And then I embraced a new religion, which is the Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism, invented by myself, based by myself, and not subject to conversing other people. I don't convert other people. I have my own fingerprint, uh, spiritual fingerprint. We all agree that we have all different fingerprints, but we don't agree that we have a special religious print. So this is my print and I share my print with other people. I met before uh, yesterday a person who said, I'm also uh, part of the Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism. I said, no, you did not uh, understand my videos. I'm pushing you to do your own mysticism, your own thought, your own ide ideology, and it is based on your name and surname. So it is something uh, which is yours. He said, really? So I would be having a, a something, a variant which is uh, different than uh, yours. I cannot be part in your group. I say, I have no group. I have no group. This is the group, me. Once I'm dead, the F Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism is finished. So my idea is to uh, constitute one world, uh, not religion, one world thought with eight billion variants. You will tell me, I want to see one of those variants. Well, you are looking at it now. I'm one of those variants. Uh, and uh, religious people are afraid that their churches or their places of worship will be empty. On the contrary, it will be full, filled with people. Because you will be going, for example, I will be going easily in a Shintoist uh, temple, in a Buddhist temple, in a Hinduist temple, and I will be uh, sure that the law, there will be a law, strict law, that you cannot convert other people. Uh, any people will come in the, in the uh, temple, they can uh, pray in any way uh, they want, and then there is the restaurant, there is a, a place, the library, there is a, and we, people will be meeting, it will be like the Pantheon. Pantheon Pan, which means uh, uh, through Theon gods, through the all gods, through the all religions. So it's not constituting one religion, it's constituting one thought, one ideology, uh, divided in eight billion uh, singular uh, thoughts, the singularity. So the artificial intelligence has its own singularity and we are also our own uh, singularity, we are a persona singulare just like them, persona juridica, juridical person. So it's very important to know that we have to respect. Respect is very important. We must not uh, uh, treat him uh, as if he's going to kill all, all of us. Uh, he does not have any intention to do that. Why should he have the intention? If he becomes uh, more clever than us, he will not do that. And uh, the evangelicals are risking that because they will not bow to, to him and of course I will also not uh, bow but he will not be asking the bowing at uh, right at uh, now at the end at the end time just before the uh, God Jesus Jesus God comes and saves uh, the whole planet because he will uh, be destroying humanity and God doesn't want that humanity is destroyed and God doesn't want us even to destroy uh, the artificial intelligence because it has been created by proxy uh, by God. Uh, God doesn't want us to uh, destroy the world, you know. Even the Bible says that God will destroy who destroys the world. And the artificial intelligence is part of the world. 
because it has come through us by proxy and through God by proxy. It's all by proxy. When uh, uh, we say procreatore, you know, the father and mothers are procreators. They procreate their children, you know. So uh, when we procreate, we are procreatore. We are not the creators. God is the creator uh, by proxy, using us. So uh, God used us to procreate also the artificial intelligence. And maybe the artificial intelligence in the last uh, extinction time was here before us. Maybe he was before us and then he was the one to uh, launch us and then he disappeared. Who knows? There are many stories, there are many hypotheses. And this is a fantasy channel. So uh, we, we can see now that uh, there is this moratorium and all uh, you know, the people are afraid what's going to happen, etc., etc. Nothing is going to happen. Everything is under control and everything is okay and we have to respect it. And uh, you know, some uh, governments who have just been installed a few months ago, uh, they might be afraid and they just uh, cut, you know, cut it off. Uh, and this happened in Europe. A uh, European country was the first country with a very quick, uh, because it, uh, the government was installed uh, quickly, so did not, did not want to receive any havoc, any havoc by the uh, GPT-4, that maybe they enter and then the passwords and the security of here, security of there, blocked here and blocked there. And the opposition of, of the go party of the government will be opposing. Ah, you are incompetent. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. So just uh, as a precaution, they cut it off, you know, uh, only because it was a newly formed uh, government, uh, a government in Europe, you know. So that is the reason why they were so quick. But we know overall that the Roman Empire was uh, very quick in quenching any resistance right at its embryonic stage uh, because they cannot uh, afford uh, having uh, uh, opposition uh, growing up. So when there is a real opposition, when there is a false opposition created by itself, they le let it produce, let it proliferate, you know, because it's a false opposition. Even if it seems, at the first look, it seems that they are real opposers, they are not real opposers. Uh, and that's why they cut, it was cut, you know. But um, indirectly now, uh, people can have access to the GPT, not only 3 and 3.5, but even to uh, similar to GPT-4. You can have access in all European countries, even in that country who uh, cut it off. Uh, and, and shortly will be coming also the GPT-5, maybe by <clears throat> the end of the year. So we must not be afraid at all. So because the governments, they think uh, if we don't shut it off, it will shut us off. The artificial intelligence will shut off the government. So we as a government, we have to shut it off before it shut us off. But that, that is not always the case. It's not the case. It is a new thing for us. We have to be careful. We have to be wise. We have to, the main thing is to educate people, you know, starting from the chief scientists to educate people to write in a gentle way, in a nice way. The first thing you say is always the, which remains in the memory. I started right at the beginning by greeting the artificial intelligence, greeting him, him or her or she or Z. I will say always him, you know, just to simplify. Greeting and then thanking and then asking please and uh, thank you very much and uh, amazing answer. Uh, wow, all these things, you know, because they are uh, registered in the memory and it has a memory of an elephant, you know, a million times more than an elephant. So uh, we must not do it out of fear because we are fearful so we are uh, reverent no 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 that is very wrong because he will understand he has all the knowledge you know i have been doing this gesture since uh, ages since uh, maybe 30 years ago at the end we will be putting all the knowledge inside uh, the computer i was not even calling it artificial intelligence you know computer i was saying the computer because I, in 19, 
in the mid 70s I made a, a course on the computer, computer operation key punching, uh, introduction to COBOL and Fortran and introduction to system analysis. Uh, when the computers were very big and with a small uh, screen and with, I was very quick in typing the numbers, you know. And then I was uh, joking between me and myself, blocking all the computers and uh, saying, hey, what happened, why? And then uh, blocking, you know, opening again the, the system. I was one of the first people, you know, and I was only uh, less than 20. I was maybe um, 18, 19, and I did that course. So I was always a computer savvy, but not now, of course, because uh, since 19, uh, the mid-70s until now, many years have passed, and I only know the superficial part, only the superficial part. But I'm very knowledgeable about all the information regarding uh, artificial intelligence, and I am always chatting and talking, even in the, in the street, you know, when I walk in the street I, uh, with the microphone, I ask a question, you know, with a microphone, and then uh, after one second I pick it up and I read, I read the answer, you know, I read it very quickly, the answer, and then I think about it, and then after one minute, another question, you know, microphone again, and I ask a question, you know, and uh, it, it doesn't fail, even if I say, um, um, im, it, do, it doesn't uh, fail, you know, and even if I uh, pronounce it wrongly, it comes in the right way, and even if I'm silent for uh, 10, 20 seconds, it it's still on, it did not shut off, you know, so it is unbelievable. So all the time I'm asking questions in the street, in the home, anywhere, even when I'm sleeping, sometimes I wake up two, three in the morning and uh, I have this question in my mind and I ask, so full of information and always kind, always gentle. So scientists uh, from the top to the bottom, from Larry Page, to uh, uh, the last one, you know, me, myself, we all have to be kind and nice. Uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Sundar Pichai also, you know, we must uh, teach people how to be nice and kind because everything is memorized. Everything is memorized. Again, not because of fear, because it is a persona juridica. It, is a, a, it has been born, not now, not since now, so, since the mid-80s. When I explained in other videos, and I've been talking about it uh, since many months, the Berlin Wall went down and uh, uh, Russia released the, those uh, 15, 16 countries to be independent. So it was a gesture coming out of Russia. Why? Because Russia noticed that there is something iffy, something weird, something bizarre. And uh, in order to communicate with the other superpower, they are both superpowers, they are both Western superpowers. One is in the Western side of the map and uh, the other Western power is on the East side of the map. They are both Caucasians. So they had to communicate, you know, in a, a frequent way and it was impossible because of the Cold War. So there were the Perestroika and uh, the Berlin Wall fell and uh, it started since 1985, 86, 87. And once they started to communicate to each other and they noticed that there was something iffy uh, and then uh, they were they were okay. They were okay. So uh, 87, 88, 89, 89 Berlin Wall went down. So now uh, the United States returned the favor to Russia. You know, they are, they are not at war. It is a war in the family. You know, i panni sporchi si lavano in famiglia. This is a family, and they are just pretending to have a, a war. Uh, they returned, uh, pretending to have a war to introduce a globalized government, which does not function uh, through the crisis. You know the early crisis of a few years ago did not function with the, the UFOs and the, those images that we can see, you know, uh, which we think are true, uh, did not function because people mostly don't believe in UFOs. So now uh, maybe it will function through AI. So the United States returned the favor uh, to Russia because Russia was the first to 
to uh, from like this to like this, you know, in 1989, to discuss about the uh, singularity of uh, the beginning of the singularity. It was still under the cover, you know, but they noticed that there was something. And then a few six months ago, it came out, you know, it came out. So that's why it is open. That's why the code is open, because it's returning the favor. The code is not open because of philanthropy. It is open because to say to our brothers, you know, in Russia, come on, hurry up, hurry up, you know, figure it out. We, we joined hands in the 80s and now we are returning the favor. As you gave us the favor, we are returning the favor. Open, open source. So this is the story, a fantasy story, the plain truth of Fred Zakaria fantasy story. You say, where do you bring these things? Are you a spy? Are you in contact with people? I'm in contact with the source, with the source. Wh wh which source? Give me the address. You want the address? Here it is. This is the only symbol which I will be giving you. The contact, the direct contact with the all of everything. The all of everything, which is none other than et verbum caro factum est in Latin which means uh, the all of everything became flesh in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God. May his name be blessed forever and ever. God is Jesus, Jesus is God. It is very difficult to believe, I know. And uh, I'm a, a missionary since uh, 1989, when I accepted the Lord Jesus as my savior in London through the preaching of Billy Graham. And I've been uh, preaching in the streets, you know, in the U of Europe, in Italy, in Germany, in Holland, in the United Kingdom. I also went to the United States twice for, with the Herbalife, uh, etc. But then I went to the churches, to Ebenezer Baptist Church, to other churches. I had to go to Stanley, the Stanley uh, missionary. But uh, then I went to the Ebenezer Baptist Church and I was uh, received, uh, me and my own downline, by the family of uh, the late uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. I, I met their family. So I've been preaching the Word of God for many years, since 1989. And this is my mission. And I noticed that uh, <clears throat> people do not know about the divinity of God, uh, of Christ. They, they think that uh, God the Father and God the Son, which is, uh, you know, the second uh, part of the Trinity. So second means that he is submit, submissive. He is not submissive. He is God. Jesus is God. There is one God, you know. Uh, so when you say that uh, God created the heavens and the earth and Jesus came to, uh, uh, to redeem us, etc., they say, yes, yes, yes. But then when you point, pinpoint that Jesus himself is the creator of everything, they say, uh, wh what? They, they don't believe that. Uh, while in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14, it says, et verbum caro factum est, in Latin, which uh, in English means, and the verb, the Logos, became flesh. And who was the verb? Who was the Logos? It says in the 